There's hopes to be a peace for all ages. This one man once told me that a child should perform a piece of his life upon small stages with a large mic but recharge the light so his eyes can be seen until his sermon is done. So here's the scene. It's me turning one unlearned and fun because this one's too serious. Locked behind the bars of my crib going delirious trying to spread news to the rest of the kids that are just as curious. I used to carry the soul of the first made slave man just as furious but not no mosi. Now I see with the vision of a baby just fiending to grow. And maybe this is the last seed I'm needing to sow before I could be added to a Sambo show and wait for pennies to be thrown and stuff each one in my diaper so I'll have enough sense by the time I'm growing. There's no more poetry ciphers and I'm the crepin' and all alone. At least my head could be sold for a substantial amount of gold. But instead, this one's for my soul. And this one's about loss of control and diarrhea of the tongue because in this one I feel freer and young, young enough that miss the marches, the ingrained pain to start this because of which I've been granted this reign to collaborate with any race of artists without that person's face being disregarded that young. But this old, old, like I've seen the days when hip-hop had soul and I'm mean in ways when stories and them same bro broken revolutions are told because they're that close to me. I'm old enough to know the way America's supposed to be. So now I feel ghosts watch me closely as I pray hard in the graveyard, mostly over the shattered bones of Seminoles and Cherokees, so much so that now my shadows need therapy. And it's like the sparrows be scaring me into chains so I convert my poems into the same and pass them out to homeless people that seem to be estranged. And maybe this poem could be my gauge because I swear I wrote this one so hard my fingers began to bleed in the page. So if I shall bleed to my doom before my carcass is carried out of the metro room, I'd ask that it be cremated. Take my last ash and tape it to the last page I created, then close the book. And to the cliche, you can judge my cover by my look finally makes sense today. And in part, this one must be for Marvin Gaye or at least his heart. Because I bet when the autopsy was complete in its right ventricle, they found my art. And then it's left my two feet. And in this one, the words seem to be detached from the sheet until they began crying. And the left side of me is a bird hard of flying, while the right is fearing that it'll soon be dying before the whole of us are ever freed. And before my previous words begin drying, the future ones will already begin to bleed until my page is so red it's impossible to read. So it'll be for my eyes only. See, this explains how in the midst of this huge crowd, I'm still lonely, but please, no self-pity, because see, I felt more witty. See, in this one, I finally figured how to shrink my nigga and make my Negro bigger. This one's for every quote every poet ever wrote but never got a chance to deliver. For the souls of the assassins, I hope they shiver with fear for each year that was stolen from Yousef Hawkins. This one explains why I talk of Tupac so often. And this one I've stuffed into the corners of his coffin so he can recite to any other young life that's been slaughtered. This one deep dream that drowned in shallow waters and screams of empty mothers that still suffer from being hollow daughters. Waiting on me to retake their order and they claim they want a house specialty but this time one of their own But see I tell them this shit is just a poem that I found in the corner of my mouth leaned up against a pen Losing this religion like R.E.M. Until it was reborn through this mic until this mic was reborn into Michael Stipe And even then it fell down Until all ten poets tonight leave an impression in chi -town. I will pray every night that if the curtain closed before the end of my child's play, note that I was at least buried six feet beneath every word I never got to say. Yeah.